Hi, question number 10 taken from uh, June 2002, Advanced Level Maths HSC P3. The fraction f is defined by fx is equal to ln x to the square for x is greater than 0. The diagram shows a sketch of the graph of y is equal to fx. The minimum point of the graph is a. The point b has x coordinate e. First part, state the x coordinate of a. Second part, show that f double dash x is equal to 0 at b. And for the third part, use the substitution x to the u, I mean x is equal to e to the u, to show that the area of the region bounded by the x-axis, the line x is equal to e, and the part of the curve between a and b is given by the integral u square e to the u du with limits from 0 to 1. Hence, or otherwise, find the exact value of this area for the fourth part. Okay. Now for the first part, we need to show that uh, at y, uh, what we need to find is the state the coordinate of a. Now what we should know here, at this point, the y coordinate is equal to 0. Therefore, what is the equation? y is equal to ln x to the square. So we're going to say, um, therefore, ln x to the square is equal to 0, because this is, this is y. In other words, we're saying that ln x is equal to the square root of 0, when you take out the square, and this is 0. Therefore, x is going to be e to the power of 0, indicating that x is equal to 1. Hence, we have the coordinate of a as 1, 0. And here we are for the first part. For the second part, show that f double dash x <coughs> at 0 is equal to b, as, I mean, it's equal to 0 at b. So, this is um, d2y over dx squared, the second derivative of the fraction. Now we have a fraction, and it is um, y is equal to ln x to the square. We have to find, this is the second derivative. Let us find the first derivative of this. What will be the first derivative? So we can say that uh, let y is equal to u to the square, where u is equal to ln x and we're going to be using the chain rule and what is the chain rule that is dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx all right so if we differentiate this we're going to get dy by du is equal to 2u and then you differentiate du by dx so you get du by dx is equal to 1 over x because the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. <clears throat> so now, what are we going to do? So we're going to say dy by dx, we're going to find the first derivative, is equal to dy by du, which is 2u, dy by du times du by dx, which is 1 over x. So 2u times 1 over x is 2u over x. And what is u? u is ln x. So we have 2 ln x over x. Now that's the first derivative, but we need to to reach the second derivative and prove that this is going to be zero at b. Now, so we're going to have to redifferentiate re this. This, in other words, we're saying it is um, two ln x times x to the power minus one. So we can use the product rule here. And what is the product rule? You should know that dy by dx is equal to u dv by dx plus v du by dx. So that's uh, the product rule. So for this one, we're going to call this u, we're going to call this x, we're going to differentiate u. So what is du by dx? So um, du by dx for 2 ln x is going to be 2 over x. And what is going to be, uh, this one is going to be, oh sorry, this should have been v. Alright, I'm going to call this v because the function is u and v. Alright? So, yeah, so what is dv by dx? If this is minus 1, x to, the, x to the minus 1, therefore dv by dx is going to be minus 1 over x squared. Because when you subtract the power, it becomes minus 2, and you send this at the bottom, you make it the denominator, it becomes x to the power of 2, instead of x to the power minus 2 as it was before. So, what is then d, dy by dx? 
And so what are we going, I mean, what are we doing right now? We're trying to find the second derivative. Therefore, d2y over dx squared is equal to v du, u dv by dx. So what is u? This is u. And this is dv by dx. So 2 ln x times, 2 ln x times minus 1 over x squared. I'm going to say 2 ln x times minus 1 over x squared plus v du by dx. So this is v, all right, and v du by dx, and this is du by dx. So v du by dx is going to be 2 over x times x to the power minus 1. So this is 2 over x times x to the power minus 1 is the same as 1 over x. So let us put this in the proper order. 2 times 1 is 2, x times x is x squared. I'm going to say 2 over x squared. There's a minus here, minus 2 ln x over x squared. All of that can be put as, uh, if we wish, uh, 2 minus 2 ln x over x squared. So this is d2y over dx squared. Now, from here, we need to prove that it is equal to 0 at b. What is b? This is the coordinate of b. And the x-coordinate is e. So we're going to say when x is equal to e, we substitute e into this. So d2y over dx squared is the same as f double dash x. Therefore, we're going to say f double dash x is equal to 2 minus 2 ln e, because x is e at b, all divided by e to the square. And what is 2 ln e? It is 1. So we have, this is going to be 1. 1 times, one times 2 is 2. All right, so 2 minus 2 over e squared, that is going to be 0. Hence, this has been shown. All right, so that's the uh, first, so the second part of the question. And um, for the other part, that is part three, um, we need to use the substitution x is equal to e to the u to show that um, the area bounded by uh, the x-axis, the line x is equal to e, x-axis x is uh, x is equal to e, and the space between a and b, that is this area here, okay, we need to show that this area is given by the integral of u to the 2 e to the u du. So how are we going to do this? Now, this is the substitution. We can tamper with this if we wish. All right, first of all, I'm going to be working with the limits. So when x is equal to 1, so what is when x is equal to 1? So we have 1 is equal to e to the u. Therefore, u ln e is equal to ln 1. And u ln e is u, ln 1 is 0. So we have a first limit. And also, when uh, x is equal to e, all right, because this is what is it. This is what it is, all right, e. So we're going to say then uh, e is equal to e to the u. And e to the u, we can say u ln e is equal to ln e. ln e is 1, so u is equal to 1. So that's the second part of the, I mean, third part of the question now. Just bear with me one moment, please.